hey this is for you out there that have had a total knee a total hip some kind of other incision and you're a little bit worried about if it looks okay my name is heather flexer i'm a doctor of physical therapy and a certified wound specialist i see wounds all the time i see crazy things um, posted on social media about incisions and things popping open and all that that crazy stuff so i want to give you a few tips of what to look out for Anytime you have a surgery, you are looking out for some cardinal signs of infection, and that is um, redness, drainage, do you feel flu-like, is there a lot more pain? So you're looking for those things. As your wound is healing, as you're getting farther out from surgery, those should all be decreasing. If for any reason they are getting more, you definitely want to get in touch with your physician, your surgeon, whoever you normally call for those things and let them know what's going on. They may have you come in. Sometimes um, wounds um, pop open or we call it dehiss. Just means like either a stitch popped or the whole thing popped open. If the whole thing pops open because you fell or something like that, obviously you want to get to um, an ER pretty quick and get that taken care of. If you just pop a stitch, the doctor might have you come in. They may decide to leave it open. They may decide to stitch it back up. Just follow doctor's orders. See um, what they recommend. The only time I kind of tell you to call me is if they tell you to pack the wound with gauze. There's just a lot better products out there and anyone can feel free to reach out to me and I'll put that information below. But you can find me at Better Wounds and I'm on Facebook and Instagram and betterwounds at gmail.com is my email. So that's if you um, get told to stick gauze in a wound, then I can definitely help you get something better. So let's say you're totally fine, you get all the way through, your wound is closed, now what are you gonna do? Okay, once the incision is healed, which means there's no drainage, there's no scab, the thing is stuck together and it looks good, you're pretty much good to start massaging that thing. And that's super important because even though you're looking at the surface of your skin, they went all the way through and there is a lot more damage underneath there. They, they cut through a lot of layers of tissue. And we see all the time people have issues with pain or scar adhesions or not being able to reach their full range of motion. And sometimes that has to do with scars forming and too much edema and all that stuff. So massage is super helpful with something like that. So if you're in the care of a physical therapist, you absolutely should bring up any of your concerns with that practitioner that you're working with. If you're not in the care of somebody else, that's a great, another great reason to reach out. I'm happy to um, help whoever needs it. So massage, when, when we're talking about something on the extremities, the arms, the legs, um, we want to be really careful that you're not pushing fluid um, down. You want to be pushing it up so that your, your body and your lymphatic system can start to uh, metabolize that extra edema. So make sure that you start up high and work your way up. And it can be just a gentle like you're just taking tension up it can be little circles and some of that is working the fluid out and some of that is also getting that skin and that tissue used to being like touched again because some people get very hypersensitive um, they don't want to look at it they don't want to touch it and actually we need to kind of toughen the tissue back up again and get it to start um, acting like normal again so you normally like you know can touch your body and tolerate it so we want to start doing that again so massage as far as like if you had an incision here you would just be taking up the slack a little bit and you would go across the line all the way like take the take the slack up go in all directions you want to go either way and this is after that wound is closed up not while it's open after it's closed but you can you know my tissue moves so if you find that you try to go in one direction and get stuck you just want to give like nice gentle pressure like you're trying to push a boat away from the dock so nice gentle pressure 
to just try to release whatever is in there. You can always use like your whole hand if you can't use your fingers and just move it back and forth. And the other thing that's super useful is like these little cups. So you cups, you're gonna use these. These can be in the shower. You're gonna put an oil on your skin. And this is probably not the first thing you're gonna do, but if you, you are having more pain, you don't like the way it looks, this is something that you can do as well. So again, just like you did the massage, you can go this way, you can go this way, and just as you squeeze it, right, put it down, your skin, I don't know how well you can see that, but your skin comes up a little bit. It doesn't hurt, totally doesn't hurt. This is like a little, little one. So this is great for like one little incision line and ladies and gentlemen, it's also really great for those wrinkles on your face, ha! Huh? Um, I'll put a link for these in um, below if you're curious or wanna try it. Um, super simple to use, really. Um, so what else do we got? Scar massage, using little cups is really great. Um, the other thing, people are worried about like long term what it's, what their wound is going to look like. Make sure if you're out in the sun you're using some kind of SPF um, and that's just going to prevent it from like getting a too red or a funky color. So an SPF, especially if it's on like your knee, that's going to be exposed to a lot of sun, especially in the summer, is great for your wound, making sure that it it gets some extra protection. Sometimes they get a little extra sensitive. And the other thing, right, you wanna take a look. You probably had some other boo-boos in your life or other scars, incisions and things. Go ahead and take a look at how your skin heals. Everybody's a little different, right? If your skin gets like a raised ridge, like somewhere else that you've had um, an incision before, those are likely a keloid or a hypertrophic scars. Those t that tends to happen like in other places. So if you've had a procedure and you have a keloid somewhere else, you might get it um, at the place where you just had surgery. So something that is useful for that is sil silicone sheets. So it comes in sheets, a little one, you would just cut it the length maybe a little bit longer than your incision and put it on there. And what it does is create some overpressure so the tissue can't grow up. So I will also um, include a link to some other information and other products and things like that. But really, if you found this at all helpful or useful, please hit the like button, share it out, share it with someone you love. If you have concerns about how your wound is healing, please feel free to reach out. My name is Dr. Heather Flexer. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, a certified wound specialist. Better Wounds is my baby. You can find me Facebook, Instagram, online here, and you can email me directly at betterwounds at gmail.com. Okay, thank you. I hope this was helpful. Good luck in your healing.